Hi there, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and welcome to this video, which may not see the light of day. Here is what happened. Basically, if you have followed me on my channel, you know that three months ago I had lash extensions applied, lash extensions, and basically I could never make them look natural. It always kind of looked like I was wearing a cattail or a squirrel tail on each lash and one lash would go this way, one lash would go that way. They always looked absolutely terrible. I remember I had one video where I had the tail end of the lash, lashed, the last lash extension application at the start of the video, and I didn't think they looked that good, but then I had to stop the video, run and get my lashes applied, get a fill, and when I came back, I looked absolutely terrible, and so it was just kind of interesting and reminded me that I don't think that lash extensions are for me. And last week I aired the video of my having them removed. And as you can tell, here are my lashes without mascara and they are very, very faint. The lady at the lash extension place, she said, oh, you've got great lashes. Well, they used to be greater before three months ago when I had them applied. But anyway, I've applied eye makeup, but I don't have mascara on. And I wasn't intending to do this video, but just this afternoon, I got this in the mail and this is from the Kiss people. It says Kiss Impressions Press On Falsies and the Kiss people have been so kind because they have sent me huge boxes full of press on nails and that's what I thought this was and I thought, oh, I hope this is eyelashes. They have sent me big boxes of nails and like wow, wow eyelashes, which, you know, a 16 year old would wear. And unfortunately I, I felt kind of guilty because I never ever use them in any videos because I felt like, hey, this is for the young girls, really not for me, the big coffin nails and all the wild colors and the huge lashes. And in fact, I gave them, I have nieces who are 14 and 16 and I gave them those boxes and they were very happy. I think they wore them on Halloween. But anyway, I just got this in the mail and let me show this to you. And it's just a lovely, lovely little kit. And this says Empress Press On Falsies. And then I realized to my delight that they were actually eyelashes. And I looked at three YouTube videos of younger YouTubers putting these on. And basically the neat thing about these is they apply from the bottom and you don't use any glue. I am not Miss False Eyelashes. I realized after I had the lash extensions applied, I should have just taken a week and made myself put on strip lashes every day to learn them because there have been brief periods where I've done that for about a week and I got really pretty good at it, but then I stopped and lost that skill, I guess. So anyway, they sent me these. Thank you so much, Kiss. I really appreciate it. Basically, these are the natural lashes. These are voluminous and these are spiky. And I have heard that these can last anywhere from one day to four days, so you really should not apply mascara with them. And so, although I probably should apply the natural ones, you know me, I'm always a more girl. I'm going to apply the voluminous ones, which yes, that's the second. The second one is voluminous. And here they are, and it says lash extensions look on it. And my lash extensions experience, they weren't a good look for me. So we'll see if this works and we'll see if you even see this video. And I do want to show you this outfit that I have on. I'll put it on one side or the other. But I wore this to work today and everybody really liked these jeans. And they're from Zara and I really think they're cool. And the trick I have learned with the wide leg jeans is to wear a little skinny top. And this is a skinny top from Amazon. And all my jewelry is linked below. In addition to all of that stuff, I can't even get them out. Let's see what I'm doing wrong. Okay. Under lash application in only one step, it says, oh, it has tape on it. <laughs> that makes sense. Okay, here we go. And you get all of this. And I think these cost around 16 to 18, 20 dollars, somewhere in there. There's a little, a little lash applicator. And then there are the lashes. And I'm getting scared. My heart is racing because I have never really had luck right off the bat with anything like this. So we will see together how this works. And I'm getting in close, so hopefully you can see. So I take the little top off, and there they are. Oh my, okay. And they said there are like medium long lashes, shorter ones, and then longer ones. And I'll use, ooh, I guess I should probably use a longer one on the outside. And you do start from the outside. At least the videos that I just saw showed them starting from the outside. Here is that. And so, okay, here we go. Let's see. Even some of the young girls couldn't make this work. Oh gosh, I can't even get them off the, off the thing. Okay, there we go. 
Okay, my. Uh-oh. I've already got them stuck to this thing. I can't even get this thing off my off my fingernail. There we go. Okay, you should grab them like out. Oh god. Oh my. That's bad. I can't even get the things off my nail. Okay, man, if every lash takes this long, this is not going to work. Okay, now, here we go. And they said you're supposed to use a mirror like this. So I'll use a mirror, and I'll put it underneath. This is not the way it's supposed to go, I don't think. Hey, it worked. Can you see that? You can either use your fingers to press it. Maybe I'll press it. Hey, I got a lash on there. Yes, I did. Okay, one down. <laughs> That's pretty exciting. Okay, now I'm going to get a second lash, and hopefully this one will, will go better. I'm going to take it off using my fingernail instead of that little tool. And they said you could use the tool or your finger or your fingers to apply. Now, how did I screw this up before? I screwed this up. So there we go. We use this again. Oh my, this is gymnastics. So I'll put it right beside the other one. It worked. Oh God. There's a little ball of adhesive. Oh, oh God, there were two of them. Oh goodness. There's a little ball of adhesive on there which which affixed it to the box, and I don't think that that needs to stay there. I'm a grown person. I should be able to do this. Boy, there's, there's a little ball of adhesive on there. Wish that thing would come off. I don't think that's supposed to be there. And it kind of showed when I first put it on. Okay, I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to put this on. I'll use this again. Put it right next to the other one. Oh, great. That's not how it's supposed to work. Ah! It fell down against my dark blue jeans. Okay, let's let's get serious, girls. I can't let this defeat me. I need a video for Saturday, too, so we'll try to make this work. Well, it seemed to work. At least it's, it's where it's supposed to be. Okay, there's the second one. Now the third one is conveniently already on my finger. So, I do have lashes on there. That's good, at least the beginnings. Okay, here we go. Now, I've got three of them on there, and supposedly you can take this little thing and just squeeze them to your own lashes. Well, that sort of worked. I think I like my fingers. Yeah. You know, I think that worked. Okay, let's get another one. Maybe one more. My computer's beeping over there. Okay, there's that one. Well, let's see. I've got it really... I'm having to do hand gymnastics here. Okay, that one kind of went, at least in the approximate area where it's supposed to go. Yeah. Use this again. They've got kind of an intense curl in them. You know, I feel like I need one more on the inside, but I don't think these are too bad. They don't feel heavy at all. Hmm. That's not bad, considering I really have no lashes. Okay, I'm going to put one more. Oh my gosh. I used all um, long ones, so I'll take one of these mediums. If I can get it off. There we go. Sorry. I didn't realize you can't see what I see. Okay, well, this would be cool. I'm going to try to apply this right on that inner corner. Uh-oh. It's stuck. Uh. Oh, great. I have two of them stuck there. Gosh darn it. This is my old experience with lashes. Yes, it is. Okay, I'll stick this one back on here. Now, I'm going to stick the, the last one there. You know, there's a little clear ball of glue on each one to affix it to the, uh, 
to the plastic and I don't think that's supposed to be on there but I can't get it off so it is what it is as my husband would say now I think this one's wonky I think this one went wonky I think I need to get in here with my hands my oh look at that that's not the way it's supposed to look you know they're super curly like maybe too curly okay let me let me try this thing and just squeeze them all down okay that's good you know this mirror is making me look way too close at my makeup and it isn't pretty i don't think i ever need to see that close up and magnifying mirrors forget it girls <laughs> When you get to me my age, you don't like those. I'm looking at every pore here. But I am looking at a full set on one eye that looks pretty darn good. I mean, a lot better. Man, okay. I'm going to smush it down one last time. I'm, I'm living dangerously here. You know, that's funny on the inside. Gosh darn it. That's the problem. I needed a short one for the inside and they didn't really have that. That looks odd. That looks odd. I'm going to try it this way. Okay. I think that looks better. You girls, it's still not great, is it? It's not great. It definitely looks like I have false lashes. It's almost like I need one more on the outside here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead. <laughs> yeah, that inside looks really funny. Maybe I just need to bend it up. Well, that looks better. Sort of. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put one on the outside. I think I need that. I'm getting a little more comfortable dealing with these. They are sticky little, sticky little devils. My, my computer keeps beeping over there. Oh, that's not going to work. There's definitely a learning curve to any kind of eyelashes. These are no exception. There we go. I'm going to use my fingers. Definitely. Wow. It's that inside that's so funky. I don't think that inside is very well placed or something. Or it's just too darn big. Well, so far so good. Although they look really heavy, but they're not. You can't even feel that they're on. They feel like lash extensions is what they feel like. Boy, that, that middle one. I don't like that. Oh, good. No, I got two. Nice. I think I just need to put one on the inside there, not two. Because I think two was too much. No, it looks bad in real life. It looks like I'm missing one on the inside. So I am going to do one of the shorter ones on the very inside. And I guess I'll try not to go so close to the middle. Got to use this horrible, torturous mirror. It makes me really look at my skin. I just tried not to go as close to the middle. Yeah, much better. Girls, I don't think that looks too bad. <laughs> Took a lot of effort, and God knows if I can make this side match. So, and this is sad, or scary, because I'm really running out of lashes. I have one, two, three, four, five, six um, to get to almost the middle, So, which will be fine. Okay, here we go. Okay, now, let's, I'll, I'll take this little guy off. Sorry. I'm not used to doing lash videos. Okay. Got it off. I turned the thing over. Now, it's got to be on the other side, which is here, where my skins are. Well, those look pretty good. Okay, here we go. Here goes nothing, as they say. Oh, God. It's just like, oh, no. It fell on my jeans again. But I got it. You guys, there's a huge learning curve to these things. Huge. And you kind of feel kind of freaked out because you realize each lash is important and you don't want to lose it. So what's the best way to put this on? Probably like this. I almost want to grab them by my hands and put them on, but 
Okay, here we go. I am going to do this. I am really going to do this. Outside, against my normal lashes. That didn't work. Maybe I can use the fingernail to get them up there. Well, now I think it did work. Hey, it's there. Okay, cool. One on, one down, I guess. Now I'll do two. They're hard to get off of here. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll just pull them off with my finger. Yeah, that was pretty easy. There it is. It's on my finger. Ah, I dropped it, but it did not drop against something black, so that was good. Okay, there we go. Okay, here we go. It's all ready. Number two. Okay, there we go. I turned my hands over. You'd have to experience this to know what I'm saying. Okay, they're on there. I think hands are easier to get that glue to adhere. Wow, doesn't look too bad. Okay, now I'll do one more long one and then probably one short one and I probably could be okay with that. And I better be because I'm starting to run out. They say this is like, I don't know, two or three applications, but I highly doubt that. I'm, I'm going to use my fingers again. I'm learning my fingernails. These nails are worth something. You know, so far I'm kind of impressed with these things. Okay, this side is definitely harder to apply than the other. Okay, it's, it's on there. Ah! It's hard to keep you guys looking, being able to see. Okay, get it together, Beth. You can do this. It's not rocket science. It's false eyelashes. And they're just little bits. So just stick them on. Oh, that's wrong. Hey, I think it worked. I'm going to take this little guy and squeeze it. Hey. You know, it's a little like lash extensions in that the eyes don't match. Because this guy looks pretty perfect. This guy doesn't look bad. And you know, am I missing one right in there? I don't know. Let me see if I can kind of make him get a little rearranged here. I think I'll use my fingers. Okay, these feel really rather there. I think I, I need one maybe in, in place two right there. I'm almost afraid to do it though. And then these guys were done already, but I'll go ahead and do this. Oh yeah, those guys feel very secure. I feel like I'm missing one right there, but it's a gamble. <laughs> Should I do it, girls? Maybe I will. Maybe I'll do one. I, ha I have a feeling somehow I used too many. I'm not sure. Because I think these kits are supposed to go further. Further than that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and try. It's either going to be glorious or it's going to have been a mistake and I should have left well enough alone. Which, I'm a more girl and sometimes that, uh, that more, that urge for more can really screw me up. It's right there. Like, almost at the end. I can do this and I can come out with gorgeous lashes. Yes, I can. Let's be positive. I've really been trying to be positive lately. Okay, so far so good. Wow! You know, those look better than my lash extensions did. I really don't mind those at all. But I have to admit, I feel pretty good about this. They do not look bad. They really do look better than my lash extensions did almost without fail. They were, they were pretty overall terrible. And these don't look bad at all. And I assume that they will let my normal lashes grow out. These really aren't too bad at all. Let me know in the comment section what you think. And this is like anything else. I'm sure there's a huge learning curve. And probably uh, I did okay today, maybe tomorrow. No, tomorrow will be great. And the next day will be even better. And I will learn these and I will be able to apply them, which will be kind of a lovely thing. And apparently they are reusable. 
so that makes them last a little longer which is just great well thank you for being here with me on this very casual afternoon as i applied these what are they called the kiss empress press on falsies and i really like them so far i think they're a good solution if you need a little more heft in terms of your lashes and i always like to leave you with a little thought for the day and i'll make this one quick and i have talked about this before but there's a book called the seven day mental diet and i will put it here or here so you can see it and the book takes about 10 minutes to read but what it is it basically has the idea that our negative thoughts our down thoughts our slightly depressed thoughts are a habit and that we need to identify when we're going to go negative in terms of our thoughts or our words or something like that and we need to immediately not entertain the thought is what the book says not entertain that negative thought but switch it to a positive thought or a thought of gratitude and I'm on like day four of this and so far so good for the first time in my life I have really been able to consistently have much better days because I'm not letting my mind go to so much of a negative place I'm really trying to keep my thoughts positive happy and grateful for everything that I have in my life and for some reason this time I've really been able to make this work and for the last three or four days I have had some of my best days ever because I seem to be going through each day looking for things to be grateful for and shutting out those negative thoughts because I really want to develop that habit of going naturally towards positive thoughts and things I'm grateful for and one of the things I'm grateful for is all of you and I hope you have a beautiful positive joy-filled day and I can't wait to see you in my next video